Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and I know, I know I'm late to this train, but um, I'm here. At least I'm getting there. I finally watched the first episode of Kimetsu no Yaiba. I've seen a lot of people rave about this. It's like it ended 2019 on a high note along with Baby Yoda and all of those other things that happened that we didn't expect would happen but I didn't expect another like big anime to pop up at least until 2020 but it just, it just sort of happened and I've seen a lot of people just talk about this people who I know are anime lovers or casual anime viewers and <laughs> quite interesting enough I've even seen a news report on Facebook saying that it already has a porn parody I've also seen the Nezuko memes so I, I think one of the reasons why I got myself to this go ahead and watch it is just to find out what the heck is she doing with that bamboo on her mouth like I really distant, distanced myself so that I wouldn't see any spoiler as to what it's about and stuff like that and here we are now I have a lot of thoughts after watching episode 1 and I, I have a list so I'm gonna go through that today and at the end of this, I'm gonna deliver my verdict if I'm gonna continue on or not and if it's worth the hype. So here we go. What is this opening sequence? That's Nezuko? I mean, where, where, where's the bamboo? What's happening? Oh, so they're siblings. I honestly thought that they're the main couple of the series, so this is gonna be quite interesting. <laughs> kawaii. Oh no, <laughs> they're so kawaii. But given that first sequence that we were teased to earlier, are they going to die? Oh my god, stab me. She's so cute. Oh my god, don't leave. Of course, their dad's dead. Unedible, so kawaii. Oh shit, his family's going to die, aren't they? I'm such a sucker for mild mannered yet hard working characters, and I feel like. I'm already loving Tanjiro as much as I loved Izuku Midoriya in the first episode of My Hero Academia. It's just that I'm so anxious to find out if his family is gonna die or not or whatever happens to that. Anime food is always the best. Well, shit. I didn't know what else I was expecting to feel, but shit. Yabai, yabai, yabai. They really have to show one of the kids with his eyes open? NANDETA! Wait, what was that movement? That's cool. Oh. <laughs> this actually made me laugh because of how classic horror slash thriller that framing was. Oh, that's your Onisan! This foreshadowing, I'm excited to finally be in on a joke. It's just sad. Who the heck is this and why does he look like he's already dead inside? I feel like I'm gonna love him, but I guess I have to wait for a couple of more days. Did Nezuko just shrink? Oh, so that's what happened. Tanjiro, more like Inojiro. If you catch my drift, I'm gonna kick myself out. Boo. No, that's not part of the reaction. I'm just saying I got food here too. The story arc of the entire season one, I guess. Or like the first half of season one. For some reason, I already love him. That inner monologue, it's official. Love him. And this is probably my favorite sequence throughout this entire episode. I'm calling it. Just including this screenshot because I don't know, I just love it. Eh? Nezuko chan? One of those, like, he doesn't know it, but he's special type of things that we often get established in the first episode. So that's cool. Protect! On this fact alone, I guess no one would want to eat me because I'm all salt and oil and fat and no nutrients at all. Is it wrong to ship them? Because I feel like I kind of do. Well, fuck. There it is! <laughs> Giyu. Noted. Add to the list of my favorite characters. Protect, 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 protect. Okay, Nezuko is so pretty, I get the hype. The face that says, Mission Unlocked. Alternate title. She protects, she attacks, but most importantly, she didn't make her brother into a snack. <laughs> oh, I like it, obviously, based on my reactions. I get the hype now, safe to say that I love it. Um, I 
really enjoyed episode one like i feel like it it was just a bit of like a dead giveaway in the beginning i wish that they could really just have i don't know caught me off guard by killing all those children if we didn't have that opening sequence of danjiro getting musical like, i got two new favorite anime characters just from episode one alone so i guess that's a good thing i mean nezuko i like her but i still haven't seen much dynamic from her enough for me to say that she's a favorite as well besides the whole like the purpose of this is just to find out why she has that bamboo in her mouth but um needless to say i am going to finish this entire thing and i hope that great things are in store for me thank you so much for watching this video if you love it please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me please hit subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you again soon in a new video bye